What's going on? Welcome to the Bracket Reveal Show for the Gauntlet Trivia League's Mid-Season Mayhem for Majesty, our All-Star Tournament at the halfway mark of season two. Last week, we put a bow on the first half of the season with what many are calling a major upset victory by the defending champions, Richie, Roy, and Roy, LLC, as they took down Los Vaseline Vaqueros, then the undisputed number one team in the league, leaving us with three teams with a four and two record to start the second half of the season, those two in the chain gang. When we pick team play back up in the second half of the season, expect fireworks for sure, uh, expect elevated levels of play from the teams at the top and teams on the bubble as they try and push for the playoffs, and of course expect heated rematches. But until then, a well-deserved break for the teams as we turn our attention to the 12 invitees to the midseason mayhem for majesty, which will determine the king or queen of trivia. 12 invitees, nine team representatives, and three additional at-large selections. The top four overall seeds get a first round bye in this single elimination tournament. Their free ticket to the quarterfinals based on how well they've played through the first half of the season. And it's about time to find out who those top four seeds are. We will start with the number one overall player in the league, earning that top seed, and that is Larry Legend, Larry Short of Engineers Trivia Club. He's the only player in the league to average at least six points per match over multiple matches. He's also firing correctly on 32% of all scoring opportunities, which leads the league as well. While formidable in a wide array of categories, Larry has found his home as the engineer's pop culture guy. He's batting over 500 on all movies questions, but also doing more than just treading water in music and television. He's really firing on all cylinders lately, and that play has earned him the top seed moving forward into the second half of the season. Congratulations to Larry for earning the top seed in the tournament. The top ranked player on the other half of the bracket and the number two overall player in the gauntlet so far is Granger of Los Vaseline Vaqueros, averaging 5.9 points per match at a clip of 28% on all scoring opportunities. He has a league leading seven two-point rounds, and what that means is his strong categories are very strong. He's a fantastic pop culture player, but he's also strong in soccer, NFL, celebrity mashup, world geography. He's very well-rounded, and his ability to score on various categories is what has him as the number two overall player so far and the top seed on the other half of the bracket. Again, Granger of Los Vaseline Vaqueros. Moving down the bracket to number three is the first at-large selection, but the second engineer, and that's Trevor Davis, Dirty D of Engineers Trivia Club, the first player in league history to score four points in a single round on his own with a niche round score and steal. He's also two for three in World War II questions, so he really owns that niche round. Trevor scores 5.8 points per match at a clip of 30%, and him towing the line at number three gives the engineers two of the top three seeds in this tournament and a good chance for one of them to be crowned king of trivia. Congratulations to Trevor Davis sitting at number three. The final player earning a first round by at Mayhem is another at-large selection and another Vaquero. It is number four Brock, their sports guru who's covered head to tippy toe in Vaseline. Brock has scored in four of five bonus rounds and he's also taken the only other four point sweep with a niche round score and steal of his own. So he's really scoring when it counts. Of course, sports are his forte. He's scored at about 50% of all sports questions, but in a limited format with only six rounds, can Brock pick up the points elsewhere to secure him a spot in the final four, even take the throne at mayhem? So here they are one more time, your top four seeds, the four earning first round buys at the midseason mayhem for Majesty. Number one, Larry. Number two, Granger. Number three, Trevor. And number four, Brock. Congratulations one final time to the top four players in the Gauntlet Trivia League, earning those first four buys into the quarterfinals, awaiting the winners of the following four matchups, starting with Number five and number 23, remember all nine teams are represented. Five seed, Myron of Los Vaseline Vaqueros, more or less a question or two away from a top four seed, taking on 23, CJ, Reign Supreme's representative, in fact, the only eligible Reign Supreme player for Mayhem. This matchup gives CJ a real chance to play Cinderella 
in a spot where he's used to playing alone, maybe he's favored a bit more in a one-on-one -on -one setting. Of course, Myron expected to win as the five seed, which would set up a cowboy-on-cowboy -cowboy matchup in the second round, which is sure to be fun, competitive, and of course, slippery. While Brock awaits the winner of that matchup, number three Trevor lies in wait for the winner of Greg sitting at the sixth seed of the Cellar Dwellers and the 16 seed Live Moss Hot Sauce representative Travis. This is an interesting matchup. Greg has slipped from three down to six in recent weeks, with Travis climbing up from 22 up to 16 in his last two matchups. Both players trending toward that middle ground. Is this an upset spot? Can Travis pull that off and reach the next round, or will Greg hold firm Again, the winner faces Trevor in the next round. Meanwhile, two seed Granger awaits the winner of eight Eric of the Chain Gang and Steph, the 14 seed from the girls' room, that team's representative at Mayhem. This is another interesting matchup. Eric, more of an ebb and flow kind of player, high ceiling, low floor, faces Steph, more of a steady four points per match kind of player. We'll see maybe the game turns on which Eric shows up. Again, the winner faces Granger in the next round at Mayhem. And finally, Larry, the top dog in the tournament, awaits the winner of the 12 seed Christian of Bustin' Nuts and the 9 seed Richie of Richie, Roy, and Roy LLC. Both players trending downward in recent weeks. They've not put out their best performances as of late. We'll see who's able to turn it on in the tournament and maybe try and take out Larry in that next round. So there you have it, this year's 12 invitees to the midseason Mayhem for majesty. To those players who didn't quite make it this year, enjoy your break, relax, watch the show, grab some popcorn, take a walk, play some Halo, whatever it takes to gear up for the second half of the season. To those 12 All-Stars who made it this year, prepare for your matchups, study up. Remember, the winner of this tournament will be crowned the king or queen of trivia for the remainder of the season and henceforth until you defend your crown next time. Trust me, you're going to want it.